today's video, I'm diving into the world of Facebook ads. And I'm gonna be honest, when I first started learning about Facebook ads, it was pretty confusing. CTR, CPM, CPC, row ads, you get thrown so many different terms that it can be a little overwhelming. But guess what? I've cracked some of the codes and I'm here to share a beginner friendly tutorial on some of the best tips I've learned when it comes to Facebook ads. If you're ready to master Facebook ads and launch your first successful campaign, stick around because I'm gonna break it all down in this video. And as a reminder, if you want more tips and videos on Facebook ads or how to grow your agency, make sure to hit the subscribe button below to stay tuned. All right, cool, so let's dive right into it. So this is the Facebook ads accelerator tailored for beginners. I'm also gonna have a more in-depth guide with the link down below and a full tutorial walkthrough in another video. So if you want those types of videos, make sure to check the description or the cards above. So let's get right into it. So here's what we're gonna cover. The Facebook ad structure, which softwares to use, budgets, pixels, metrics, everything you need to know to have a full understanding of Facebook ads and get started. So why should we even advertise on Facebook in the first place? So don't just take my word for it. Take Alex Hermosi's word for it. So he's a business owner who's scaled multiple companies and has books out like $100 million offers and $100 million leads. So in the book, $100 million leads, which is probably one of the best uh, books out there on lead generation and just business in general, he says paid ads is the fastest way to scale how many leads you get. It's the fastest way to scale how many leads you get. So we can go out there and try organic or we can try cold email or cold outreach, cold calling, but with Facebook ads, it's really scalable and you're able to make data-driven decisions based on the ads metrics. And from my own experience with Facebook ads, we're able to scale our agency within the first two months to over 12K a month within two months of just running the agency. So Facebook ads are super, super powerful. Cool, so you can see here, these are some of Alex Hermosi's ads that I found online and they're not the prettiest, but they work, right? So here's just the big free five-day gym comeback challenge. Gym owner, so he's calling out who he's looking for. for. Don't leave your gym to chance, gym secrets. So this is all different marketing tactics, right? And I've seen ads online performing super well, and they're not the prettiest. They all, all they have is some big text calling out who they want and their offer, and then that's it. But you can get pretty creative with it. And the more creative, the better. So on Facebook, there's roughly 3 billion monthly and 2 billion daily active users as of 2024. So there's lots of people on Facebook. And on Instagram, there's over 2.4 billion monthly active Instagram users. So there's also a lot of people on Instagram. So when we say Facebook ads, yeah, it's Facebook, but it's also Instagram, which is pretty cool and pretty powerful. And you're able to attract your ideal person because Facebook has all of this data, has all of these users on it. Okay, so Facebook, right? So when it comes to Facebook ads, there's a lot of different terms and this is kind of where it gets a little overwhelming. You have to learn about ads manager, the business manager, pixels, conversion API, ad creatives, click through rate, cost per click, advantage plus, dynamic creatives, you know, lead forms, all this stuff. There's a bunch of different things. What we're going to talk about today is the fundamentals and the basics and we'll have a more advanced course for uh, the more advanced topics. And if this is literally your first time learning about Facebook ads, it can be a little overwhelming. So just know that's normal when you're learning something new, but I'm going to try to break it down as simple as possible for you to understand and master Facebook ads. And this was me when I first started learning about Facebook ads. So with that said, Facebook, why advertise on Meta? You have a wide reach, it's cost effective, you can make data-driven decisions, and it's highly scalable. So now let's talk about the ad structure. 
So at the top, you have your business manager, and this is kind of what holds all of your assets, right? Your Instagram account, your Facebook pages, your catalogs, all of that. Underneath that, you have your ad manager, which the kind of name implies and manages your ad account. So from your ad account, this is kind of where the magic happens. And we have ad campaigns, ad sets, and ads. So in the ad campaign level, this is where you set your objective. So I'm going to go into depth a little bit more of this, but just kind of know this is where you set your objective. Ad set is where you set your audience, your placements, your budget and schedule. And ad is where you set your creative. So if we go to campaign level, at the campaign level, this is where we're going to define special ad categories, objectives, and whether you want to set up advantage campaign budget, formerly known as campaign budget optimization. So with this campaign, the special category, this is if you're running ads for maybe like a realtor, um, some type of like political ad, this is where you would define um, the special ad category. If you're not, you don't need to select anything here. And then when it comes to the objective, this part's actually pretty important. But in general, you're most likely going to be selecting leads because that what that's what most companies want. They want leads to turn into clients. Just to know, you also have awareness, traffic to your website, engagement, app promotion, and sales. But in general, for the most part, you'll be wanting to select leads and campaign budget optimization, it was formerly known campaign budget optimization. So you'll hear CBO online a lot, but it's now called advantage campaign budget. So this is if you want to just set a budget at the campaign level and just let Facebook handle, uh, kind of distributing your budget across your ad sets and your ads. This is a uh, pretty important because Facebook has a lot of data. They have a really good algorithm and a really good AI. So they know what they're doing. So most of the times what a lot of people do when I actually see a lot of marketers do is they'll generally use this advantage campaign budget, turn it on, set their budget and just let Facebook do the work. So that's one thing to note there. And then we get to the ad sets and in the ad sets level, this is, you see a few different things here. This is where you're going to choose your conversion location. So if you want to send them to a website, instant form, messenger, instant form and messenger in general, instant forms work really well and you're able to get your ads up and running really fast. So you don't have to go and spend so many hours building out a website and you're setting up your forms, all of that, just set up your instant form, collect their information natively within the app. You also have advantage audience here. This is where you can add detailed targeting of who you want to target, the type of people you want to target based on their interests, job titles, etc., what ages, what genders and custom audiences. This is more advanced in another that I'll be talking about in another video, but you can just know you can create custom audiences such as people who visit your Instagram, people that visit your website, people that opened the form but didn't submit, things like that. And then placements. Placements is what type of, uh, where do you want your ad to show up? It is Instagram stories, Instagram reels, uh, the marketplace, whatever that is. So if you click show more options here, you'll be able to um, select the placements or you could just let Meta take care of it. And that's kind of what we talked about. So in the ad level, this is where you actually select your image or video or carousel and you select uh, which uh, video or image you want to add to to your ad. So this is where you set up the creative level. So remember the campaign, that's where you set up your objective and potentially your budget. Uh, and then the ad set level, that is where you select your placements, your audience, um, and then the conversion location. So where you want to send them to. And then the ad creative formats in general, Videos I found to do really, really well. And then next up I would say is carousels that do really, really well. And then after that is images, uh, images pretty easy. Just go to Canva, get an image out, get a bunch of them. Uh, and then from these images, you can create carousels and then videos take a little bit more time, but work really, really well, especially if you can make them entertaining, 
and uh, fun to watch where people actually wa would want to watch all of it through. At the ad level, this is also where you set up your primary text. So this is the text that's going to show up underneath your ad. The headline that's going to show up on the ad and then also your call to action, such as learn more, sign up, all of that. This is also where you're going to select your instant form. So you could create new forms here and where you could add all of your tracking data. So website events, CRM events, all of that. And then another thing to know is ad creatives are super important. So get creative here, try different things out. And one tool that's really cool is the ad library. On here, you can search up by keyword or advertiser, all the ads that are running on Facebook. So when you go on here, you can go, maybe look at your competitors or your specific keyword and try to get some inspo for different ad creatives. And as a recap, campaign where you set your objective usually generally is probably leads ad set this is where you set your audience your placements and your budget and schedule and with audience you can let meta do the work or you can add more detailed targeting there placements same thing you can let meta do the work or you could define your placements and then you can define your budget here as well and then with your ad creative this is where you set up your primary text, your headlines, where you select your lead form, and where you actually upload the creative that you want running for your ads. And one thing to know is you can have multiple ad sets per campaign and you can have multiple ads per ad set. So here's kind of what we talked about when it comes to the ad structure. And then we're going to quickly talk about this top part. And with the top part, these are the meta accounts. So business manager, this is for managing all access to your tools and assets like Instagram accounts, Facebook pages, etc. At your ad manager, this is kind of where you're going to set up and create your all of your campaigns and all of that. And then your ad account, this is where um, all your activities related to advertisement and budget are kept. And this is a nice visual that kind of shows everything where the campaign can have multiple ad sets and each ad set can have multiple ads. And then with software, I'll kind of want to touch on this really quick. So when it comes to software, there's plenty of different softwares out there. If you're using GoEye Level, you can actually connect your Facebook ad account and you can see analytics right there. But also, I'm also actually working on a software currently for marketers, people that run Facebook ads. And you can see here, in our software, we have a really easy to use ad manager where you could quickly see analytics related to spend, leads, average cost per lead. And then you have all of your analytics on here with heat maps to make it easy to distinguish which ones are performing the best. Turn ads off and on, change your budget and all of that. You can look at the campaign level, ad set level, ads level. And then also you can filter, select different columns and date ranges. And what's coming soon is we're going to have an AI feature here where you literally press a button and it's going to analyze all of this data. So to help you make better informed decisions on which ads to turn off, which ads to scale, etc. We also have a discover ads feature kind of similar to the Facebook ad library, but on here, you're going to be able to rate ads tag ads, um, save them to, to your board, discover ads from other, discover other ads that people have saved. And um, what's really cool about this is, like I mentioned earlier, the ad library, if you're to go and try to look up an ad that got turned off, you wouldn't be able to find it there anymore. But with our software, after once you save your ad, it's saved forever in our database, which is pretty cool. So you could go look at your competitors' ads, save them, and do all of that. And then it also has this nice page where you can analyze different ad creatives and see which creatives are working the best. So if you want to try out this software and take it out for a test run, I'm going to have the link in the description so you can sign up for our private beta waitlist. So it's actually not out yet. We have a wait list of people who want to try out the software. And if you want to join and try it out yourself, make sure to hit the link, the link in the description below. So now we get to budget. So in the budget level, 
like I mentioned earlier, you can set the budget in the campaign level where you're gonna have, use the advantage campaign uh, budget option. So you can let Meta distribute the, the budget or you can set it at the ad set level. And it really depends on your strategy. Well, you can do either or. If you do the, the campaign level, I think in general, it just makes it a little easier on your end where you don't have to manage the budgets. Like you distribute them across different ad sets. You just kind of let Meta do the work there. And what's a good strategy is to have 70 to 80% of your budget for your main campaigns that are proven, that are working, and then have a smaller budget to test different campaigns and different creatives and different strategies. That way you're always testing new things and getting more data and feedback. And then with the pixel, the pixel, what it really is, is it's a tiny piece of code that you put on your website to see what people do there. So you can see here, this is a little snippet of code you would copy that, put it on your website, and it would start tracking who visits your site, who's what type of actions they're taking, who's buying your stuff. And this data is gonna get fed back to Facebook. So Facebook can start learning what type of customer that yeah, your ad is attracting and that's actually buying your stuff. And the more data your pixel has, the better your ads are gonna perform. And when it comes to metrics, there's a, a tons of them, but I'm going to go through a few here. Click through rate. This is the percentage of clicks on your ads. In general, you want a higher click through rate, 2%, 3%, 4% is better. If it's below 1%, it's probably not a great ad to be running. Cost per click. You, this is the cost for each ad click. CPM, this is cost per milli, cost per 1,000 views on your ads. And another important one is ROAS. So ROAS is a return on ad spend. And the formula is your revenue divided by your ad spend. So as an example, let's just say we have 10 sales. The product is $27. Your revenue is 270. You spend $27 on ad spend. Then that would give you a ROAS of 10X because the revenue was 270 from here. You spent $27 and you got a 10X ROAS. Let's just say if it was 27 over 27, you'd have a 1X ROAS, meaning for every dollar you put in, you got a dollar back. In this case, it's for every dollar you put in, you got, ton you got $10 back. So that in a nutshell is an overview of Facebook ads and the fundamentals when it comes to being able to launch your first successful campaign. If you want to see me walk through creating a campaign, setting up the ad sets, setting up the ads, make sure to click the link in the description where I have a tutorial on that. And also if you want more advanced strategies on Facebook ads, I'm also going to have another link in the description. So check that out. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.